In Brookfield, the second of two public meetings today started at the top of the hour. School officials and parents are talking about options for the football team's upcoming season. Trumbull County reporter Nadine Grimley brings us the latest developments. Playing football at this stadium on Addison Road is a tradition going back nearly seven decades for Brookfield High School. And for upcoming seniors, that might not happen. And honestly, we just want to play our senior year at Addison. As a team, we're just real, we're real disappointed. We want to play at Addison more than we want to play anywhere else. It's because the district needs to make it compliant with the Americans with Disabilities Act after a single complaint was filed last year. And I say if there's needed accessibility for handicap, and that was the main primary thing that's causing this whole to do, we should fix it. Now they're in a time crunch to decide what to do. They need to get this moving so these kids can have a game this year on this field. That field means a lot. The timing is bad, and I, and I reminded them of that. You know, when, when you came and visited in the summer last year, we expected to hear back a lot sooner, and we didn't. In order for the Warriors to play out their football season here at this stadium, they first must make this whole facility handicap accessible, which could cost upwards of $500,000. The improvements include the parking lot, restrooms, and seating. Other options include building new, a project with more than a million dollar price tag, or renting fields at other schools. On another field, you, we won't have our home colors, we won't have, you know, our home stadium, and there won't be the community feel to it. It'll, it'll just, you know, feel like an away game. And all those options cost money the district doesn't have. The Kafaro Foundation announced that it's donating $50,000 to Brookfield to help with the project. Saxton hopes it'll get the ball rolling for others to do the same. In Brookfield, Nadine Grimley, WKBN 27 First News. And the superintendent expects a final decision will be made on the issue within the next few weeks.